This is our latest, here's our latest little project here. Um, so this is actually goes on a bus, but it would work on a bug. Look at that. You know what it is, is uh, you hang your lantern from right here and it's for camping. So I'm actually going to make, I made this, I could have made this without, obviously without this piece here. But I thought, man, you know what? Uh, all these guys have these ones with little VW faces and then they have this little arms, you know, and has this little man that holds your lantern. I, you know, I just didn't, didn't really like that that much. I was like, you know, it looks all right, but it just isn't something that I do normally. I usually don't buy stuff like that. I usually make my own and make cool stuff. So I put this on here and I'm going to, so this is how it works on your bus. Go look at it on the bus real quick. Yeah, it works. It just works just as well on the bus, but um, we have this below the center of gravity there so that it kind of hangs more often so anyway um but it could have probably been straight across you know there's a lot of ways you could do it we just made this out of uh, stainless so uh you know that's how it goes on the bus and like i said they have ones that with a little vw face guys sell them on the samba you know like 25 bucks whatever so i had to figure out what am i going to put on this space here so i got my butcher paper out and i'm going to trace this thing real quick and then come up with the shape and I'll figure out because um, I have to do remember one side's different than the other because it's the opposite of that and I've figured out what I kind of want to do and let's see so I'll just check it out so I just traced around it with a pencil then I cut them out with the left and right I'm just kind of roughing up what I'm going to do I think you guys get it I was going to put garage, but it'd be too much to hand letter on there. All right, so that's just my base. I'm just going to kind of tune it up now. Um, so I taped them down on here so they don't move around because it's such a small thing to move around. And then I'm going to go ahead and make this into a pattern. I'm going to draw this. I just uh, was doing an F, just a rough draft. I mean, very rough, obviously. And uh, then I'll have to draw this out nice and then pounce it yeah and this small of a thing I don't think I need a pattern I'm just going to go ahead and do my top and the bottom layout of each letter that's the way we did it back in the old days with uh, this is uh, fine line tape we always did it that way so that's your top and your bottom of your letter and then you just touch it up when you're done I'll show you let's do the other side all right so that's what we ended up here on one side Here's the other side. And then what I've got to do is because this is how it's going to be on there. Um, you know, I have to make it work with that angle, which is kind of weird on this side. On this side, not so much. Maybe the mic will be over here. Then it goes F and, and then the G will be here. Um, so I think I'll use a small N. I might be using all caps on mic. I haven't decided yet. Uh, depends on how hard it is to draw. Let me uh, think about this for a little bit. Um, it is, you know, a lot of people think because I'm in the sign business and I do uh, a painting uh, that I was a hand brush lettering guy. I did very little of that. Um, I was actually the spray guy in the shop many years ago all I did was custom paint so very rarely did I get a brush out um, I but I've brushed for many years since then and I've done a lot of that stuff a lot of the stuff now what we do is vinyl and we do like uh, we'll cut it out of vinyl and then we'll spray it on the surface and then touch it up with a brush so uh, hand brushing is a little bit um, out of my n normal thing so we'll see how I do. I might be able to do okay. I've done some and uh, done pretty good, but I haven't done it on uh, with the camera sitting there. It's a lot more difficult with that. All right, so I've set it up on here. And that way I've got it where it's at the angle it's gonna be at. Um, Cause it's, if it's just laying on a table, it'd be kind of hard to get the um, lettering the way you want it to look. 
So let's get the quills out. I'll get the layering kit out. I'll show you stuff I have. All right, Musty and Dusty, here they are. I gotta find my quills. I can't remember where we were. I was using those a little while back. I do some stuff still. So we've got dark blue. So you mix them all together and make what you want. Yellow. Another pint of yellow in here. I couldn't find my paints once, so I had to buy some. That's some white. I'm not, probably not going to use that on maybe the color. We have some black. quarter black like I said I was you had I couldn't find these I had them stored away somewhere that one got hard um, brilliant blue it's doing a big sign I do some of it you know I mean I do some big signs and they're really easy to do because smaller letters are actually really hard so another dark blue and then you have your white Again, you use that to do a lot of tinting um, to make your colors a quarter white. Yeah, Blanco white. And fire red. That's a good one. But then I have a whole quart of that, I think. This one, bright red, different red. Yeah, that's why I use that on that sign. I remember doing it. I used up a half a quart on that. That was a lot of paint on that. That's a lot of paint for painting letters. Uh, maybe just fire red. I'm not sure what to put on here yet. Um, I gotta have to think about this for a minute. Uh, what color I want to put on there? It's gonna look right with the stainless steel. See if you do. Well, I do two colors, but oh, boy, it's really gonna be tight to do that. Um, yeah, I might do that, but especially the G, um, got to make the G, see the G, I have to have this thing setting at this angle here so that when I put the G on there, it won't be turned, you know, it'll be the right direction, how you read it. So anyway, um, I'll figure this out real quick and then we'll get started. All right. So here's the, uh, quills I have quite a few of them. Always kept them over the years because um, a lot more of this stuff when I was younger. Probably use the number four or something like that. Yeah, that one there. I don't know if I've worn that one out. I'm going to clean them up uh, and I'll uh, bring you guys back in the video here. I'm going to just go ahead and turn this off for a minute and kind of get things ready. I also have these really cool ones from Kafka. Really long. Really long ones are nice. Um, if they're longer, you can pull a straighter line. I think they call those the liners. And I have these really short handle ones. You can twirl around with your fingers. That are cool. Another Kafka brush. The only guy who makes them now, really. I mean, there's many years ago, we used to go to Rickard's Art Supply and get them and uh, there's a little pinstripe and brush um, yeah I've done some of that I mean not too long ago a few years back I was doing them I might use this one I don't know there was something about that brush I wasn't real happy about but it's not quite like the old um, like even the woods kind of cheap for spinning when you spin it you you spin your fingers when you turn corners so anyway um, but that and all that stuff makes a difference you know it's stupid Little things like that that make a big difference. Uh, we'll go ahead and set this up. I'll bring you guys back in. Uh, I may just put this on uh, hyperlapse. It's going to take me a long time to letter that because uh, I'm very slow now. All right, so I guess I'll put you guys right there. Hopefully you can see. Let me get this up here. That's what we got so far. Um, of course, it's the letters are a little crooked. You kind of have to put the other color on. So you don't want to get too uh, 
perfect. Let me see if I'm in the right place here. I really can't see. That's why I need to be about right here. All right, so this part I think I'm going to do um, so I can turn, turn it around because uh, it's such small, you know, doing big letters is much easier than doing small ones um, if you've ever done lettering. So, yeah, you know, getting the brush palette just right is part of it too. Um, having a little trouble with that right now with this line to clump up if I need to reduce the paint a little more gotta get it just right it's about working that paint just right so it'll drag just the amount of drag you need let's try a little bit here and see this uh, put this over here I hate having this thing in my hand but uh, so you guys can see that's where I'm having trouble it's really hard to do and have people watch let's see. I have to breathe just right Almost like pinstriping with this brush. If you pour it too slow, the letters don't look for crap. requires some practice. Uh, like I said, it's been about four years since I picked this brush up, so I'm a, quite rusty. And this particular brush, I don't think I've ever used. I'm cheating a little bit here. It's a little easier. But the problem is mostly is the lighting. Let's see if I can get this a little pointier. Does not want to drag on that color. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. If you can or not. And this brush really goes a long ways on a dip too. It's turn it upside down so I can do my drop a pinky and do my leather tip. Straighten this one out a little bit. There we go. So it looks a little wide. Yeah, my ends are not very pointed right here in the corners. Let's see if I can just drop it right there. That's a little better. All right. Let me pop this thing up again. Oh, yeah. Looks like you guys can see okay. Better get it way up the heel. 
so the paint keeps running down the brush. I mean, this brush is almost a pinstriping brush. I mean, you can... You can brush a really small line with it. So those, if you see how small those are, it's almost a pinstripe there. much easier to do this um, holding this thing like this than it is to try and do it vertical. Look a little like cartoon characters, but that's kind of what we're going for anyway. Make them all look perfect, make them out of Slow down a little bit. Let's get rid of these two angles. suck not very clear that's okay like I said this is not something I do every day although you might think I do some people might but it's not looking there so far and you see these are really rounded hopefully I can straighten those out with this brush here this out a little bit. I'm always fixing stuff. And then you make a lot of mistakes. I'll go think of bettering this cut and dry and the guys get it perfect. And some guys do. There's a few of us out there that get this stuff really perfect. All the guys that I know, hmm, 
Not so much. Clean up this a little bit. Yeah. He's looking a little crooked. Straighten this one out. These are hard. Alright, so uh, looks a little bit crooked, but that's okay. See if I've still got enough paint on here to drag another line. Wow, this liner really puts a lot of paint down. way more than most of them. There we go. Clean that out. Pull this line here. Eyes. I suck. Start to get kind of blurry. It's because I don't see as good as I used to. If I had good glasses, I could probably do a little bit better job with good reading glasses. But I don't have any right now. Not getting straight lines, and that's not easy. On something this small, bigger, I can make it look pretty good. You can fix your mistakes a lot easier and bigger. What I'll do is I'll just fancy it up. Put a few more lines and stuff on here. So you can you don't really notice the mistakes. That's what we like to do. So when you walk up, you don't see it. Okay. Get a bit of paint on my hand. Get that off. Or it'll be everywhere. Put this down for a second. Where's my rag? Oh, there it is. Hang on a second. A lot of little things going on like your thinner and your paint thinner and your this is uh acetone and uh sit there and reformulate your paint as you go sometimes it starts to get a little too thick then your brush starts to get draggy and too thin it doesn't cover and it slides too much Turn right here. Turn right here. Let it go. Just 
checking to make sure you guys can see. I don't know if you can or not. A little bit of correction here. Okay, I'm going to turn my brush angle. Now, a little bit of a loopy end. Now, there we go. Walk well, after you look at it, you won't really notice, really, but uh, I do, you know, and that's the thing that, that's that one up there. That's all right, I can fix it. Yeah, I gotta be able to fix stuff. Okay. There, there we go. That looks better. These look really bad. The E here doesn't look very good. But uh, that's all right. Can't really see it, but I'm actually twisting my brush to make the corner. To make the corner. I'll clean this up just a little bit. By going upward. This is so small, it's so difficult to make these small letters. a little bit of paper than it is anyway. I'm going to do that. I can't really paint off that brush. It's just a little bit thick right there. Uh, let's try with this one. It's getting a little bit thicker. I have to do this direction because of where I'm sitting. See, I could do this at an upward angle like this by holding the brush this way. But if I just turn, I can use the same angle. So it's a little bit of cheating. But... There you go. Oh, I got that little lump of my G. Don't go cross-eyed. Okay, so get rid of this one. Okay. 
in my squirt bottle. One second. Okay, paint thinner. Just a little tiny bit. Start dragging here if I need to bring it down just a little bit. Hopefully, I can jack it up. So, you notice I've only done one side this side. Other side, I was gonna uh, do after I finish one, even though productively I should do both sides at the same time, but. Uh, We're not in productive mode. Let's hope this thing liners with new paint thickness. I feel like better. Strike pressure just right. Take this up to a point. Like that. There you go. All right. So that's what we're looking at right there. That's what I was trying to get. Nothing too fancy. Just something fun. So I can hang it up on there. Hang it up on the bus. And see how it looks in the bug. Mike F and G. Garage. Anyway, yeah, it's a little crooked. It's really hard to do those small letters. If I was doing ones like twice that size, I could get them pretty good. But uh, I know they're crooked. But oh well, you know that's the way it is. So anyway, that's kind of fun. Looks good from right about here. You know, you get up close, you can see stuff. But that's the way. You know, even the lettering guys, a lot of them are a little not even as good as you know what I just did seen really bad ones but I've seen guys way better than me so I'm not that good at it but I'm just doing it for fun uh, put it on the YouTube channel and let you guys see at least that's something different uh, well, actually you know what I'm gonna do a couple more things to that hang on all right so I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not but I will try something here I kind of wanted to outline this Do it. It's really hard right here because I have nothing to. I have to just pull it straight. I always need crutches to hold on to. A little wobbly. Doesn't look much like a paint stripe. It looks like a lettering. No, it's not supposed to be a paint stripe, but. Look like one. There we go. Let's on this side a little bit. 
this right. That feels right. And then too slow. I need to go just a little bit faster to get a straighter line. I got really wide right there. Okay, start over again. And that's lettering. I almost have to do this right here. Wipe it off. It's actually a really tough edge to do. Well, I want to try it and see if I can do it. Hopefully you guys can see. I'm trying to make sure. Let's try it again. this way. I get a section right here. No. I gotta wipe it off. The problem. If I do that. wand out. This is hard stuff right here. Small stuff is always the hardest. Big stuff, easy. The big giant bowling alley. Everybody thought it was amazing. Big old bowling sign. It needs to be done at the end. I do it, I'll definitely take a video of it. I think I'll just scrape that little guy. Right there. Oh, shit. Yeah, I need something to back me up. I can figure this out. Hang them over my hands. A little bit of pain in your hand, it's everywhere. Some guys palette on a piece of paper. I've always learned to do it on the side of the Dixie cup. Mm -hmm. All over the place though.
Zimmer geht. Put it on the side there. getting kind of thick. Pair my finger again. Try this again. Little skid mark right there would be fine. I'd go with it. Yep, that's what I'll do right there. Okay, so that's it, guys. Uh, that's my Mike F in Garage. Um, sign that I'm putting on my thing. If you ever see me at a show and I have this up, you know who I am. That's it. Talk to you guys in the next video. Please like, share, subscribe, subscribe. And uh, I'll be doing the other side of this. Uh, I don't know if I'll put it on video or not, maybe. Um, it is kind of a pain. It's much easier for me to do this without me thinking about where the camera is and trying to make sure the angles are right. Uh, you know, I make a lot more mistakes. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.